Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some MTGO. We are out here playing some more Popper Slivers back in the practice lobby. Just had our tournament last week. Went not so great, but it was fun anyways. Uh, if you guys did enjoy that uh, and want to see me do another league, I'm totally down. Just leave a comment below. Let me know that you're interested, and uh, I'll definitely try to do that again. But in the meantime, let's get to practicing. And see what we can do. This was a decently keepable hand. Uh, so I think we're going to lead with the blossoming. Get that out of the way. We can drop a couple things next turn or at least hold up binds if we feel like we need to. But they may be holding up a counter spell. Who knows? Definitely holding up a counter spell. Cool. Alright, well, let's try to put down this guy. See if he wants to counter it or not. He's gonna let it resolve. Okay. We'll attempt this. Okay. Alright. I'm surprised nothing got countered there, but okay. They just wanted to brainstorm. Fine by me. Mm -hmm. Sure, they're gonna cycle this guy, all right. What you got for us on this turn? Careful study? Alright. Don't know what you're looking for. Feel free. Tapping out is fine. Pondering. Let's get some double poisonous going since they're tapped out for sure. Another one drop would be nice. Or another land. Let's just get some bodies on the board. Sentinel is tempting. I think I'm going to go for that double. Four poisonous straight away. Maybe it wasn't the most mana efficient thing just to drop the Viverlint, but uh, I did want to get that poisonous going. We could have dropped Sentinel first and then dropped Sent uh, Viverlint next turn, but you know, they were tapped out. I don't want to take a chance of them not tapping out. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting. So this is what we're doing. Oh, they got that combo very nicely. Well, jeez. Reanimator, huh? Didn't even realize we we're up against this reanimator. Okay. Well, we gotta sacrifice some stuff, huh? Huh. Let's get rid of you. And, uh. Jeez, none of this is super good. I almost wanna get rid of one of my lands, but I guess I can't really. Fudge. That sucks. Okay. We're in some trouble. Yeah. What do we need to get here? Nothing. There's nothing we can really do. We're just, uh, we're just screwed. 
Let's go to game two. <laughs> we put out one creature, they swing in again. And we have to sacrifice two things. We're left with no creatures or no lands or whatever. So it's just, yeah, it's, it's time to go to this one. Relic, please come in here. Ooh, natural state. I don't know how good that is, actually. It doesn't look like we gotta worry about protection too much. I don't know, I, I like, hitting the Dragon's Breath with the natural state, I don't know how effective that would be. I think we just need to make sure we can journey something, really, and have our relic ready. Uh, yeah, I guess let's, well, here, we'll do this, bring this back in. Try it. We'll try it. Uh, yeah, I'll play first. I'll play first. And we'll keep it. We, we have the relic. We'll start with relic. We'll put Blossom Sands and Viverlet next turn. <laughs> Sands for days. Okay. Pondering. This is interesting. Okay. Let's see what they do here. Get rid of that Evolving Wilds, shall we? Yep. Excluded, huh? Alright. I think we're gonna go on defense here. We're gonna hold up Secluded for a cycle and hold up the forest to exile the Relic if we need to. So we're not gonna play the Predator yet. I wanna make sure I can have Relic up to exile all their graveyards just in case. Alright, here's the discard. Let's see what they dump. Alright, there's Ulamog. Exhume. This is where we crack. There we go. Boom, that exhume targets absolutely nothing. And we'll go ahead and cycle this now. All right. Well, let's start getting some damage in then. And quickly, please. My guess is they have a backup plan. Uh, they probably have another Ulamog. 
They may not have another way to exhume it. Actually, you know what? I bet they have another exhume or something, and they just have to, you know, discard something to try to find their Ulamog. I don't think they have another Ulamog and exhume in hand. They, they, they need three pieces of this combo for it to work. They need the discard, they need the Ulamog itself, and they need the exhume. Uh, chances of them having all three twice in a row is unlikely, so I think we're all set there. And now we can just get bodies down. Bodies for damage. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. Click through my combat step. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, if we lose now, that would suck. Good news is, is we have plenty of lands we can sacrifice if they do end up dropping another Ulamog, but I'm not super worried yet at this point. Okay, sure. Sweet, just gave us another Lord. That uh, should give us lethal. Fine by me. Hey. What? Hey, one. There we go. Alright, good. Just gonna say. Alright, let's go to game three. Uh, I think I like what we had. We just gotta make sure we draw into Relic again. So, let's run it back. Missing that combat step. Uh, I need to stop doing that. Okay. Hmm. We're not going to keep this. We will keep this just for the relic, I guess. This is still a tough keep, though. This is a really tough keep. I think we'll keep it just for the relic, though. Probably... Uh, we'll get rid of one of our vines. Alright. Okay, we got our second land, so that's good. And get their double mana source going over here with the aqueduct. Gives us an extra turn. I think we're going to play Sentinel first just to get a bigger body on the board. I'm not worried about cracking the relic next turn. It'd be pretty hard for them to do double. They might be able to pull it off. They won't be able to attack with the Ulamog, though, and we can then just journey it, so we have backup. Fingers crossed. Unless they pull the Dragon's Breath again. Again, they need a lot of pieces to pull that off. Move them into your head, rest in the graveyard. Okay. We could see clearly and they didn't put him in the graveyard, so they must still be looking. Let's make sure we keep their graveyard low, just in case they're playing with Gurmog, which they probably are if this is reanimated. Uh, Alright, well, we.
we don't have a green source yet. It's unfortunate. But we will start getting some damage in. I'm gonna do this now. Gotta play the slow game a little bit. All right, let's see what they can do. Another strategic planning. Dark ritual, backwater, so they still aren't really hitting it and they just concede. So there you go. Reanimator's fun deck. I have it, uh, the black red version of it, the Rakados version of Reanimator. I don't know which is a better version. I haven't actually seen the black blue version of it, so that was pretty cool to see. But it is a tough, it's a fun deck to play when you can pull it off. But it's a combo deck, so you have to have your pieces, and you got to get them fast. And if anybody has anything to stop you, well, you're just you're dead in the water. So that was fun. I wasn't expecting it the first round. <laughs> So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you want more Popper Slivers practice, or again, if you want to see me jump into another league, again, just subscribe to stay tuned for more, and leave a comment down below letting me know you guys want to see more of the league stuff. And we will see you guys in the next video.